What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. The end of The Descendants, The Royal Wedding, indicates a new beginning for the popular franchise. Is there a possibility for the cast to reunite for the fifth installment? Will the story follow the same protagonist? Let's find out. The Royal Wedding One of the most popular Disney franchises released its third part in August 2019, but the film was followed by many fans craving more of the story about the four villain kids. Then, Disney decided to surprise its fans with the release of an animated continuation titled Descendants, The Royal Wedding, which premiered in August 2021. The thing is, fans were not really happy with this animated version because, according to them, it simply doesn't give the proper conclusion to the story they've been invested in for years. The focus of the animated film was again on Mal and Ben, and we finally saw what we were hoping to see for a long time, a wedding between the two protagonists. Before these two were able to enjoy their happily ever after, there were some struggles they needed to go through. Drama-wise, the royal wedding didn't disappoint, making Audrey Mal's official wedding planner. This storyline was really interesting to follow because, as you already know, Audrey was pretty interested in Ben and wanted to spend her life with him in the previous Descendants films. Anyways, Mal wanted to get married with her entire family present, so the gang headed to the Isle of the Lost in order for Hades to be there for his daughter. One of the most difficult to watch scenes included in the fourth installment was when Jay and Evie gave Mal a charm bracelet with all of their family crests, including Carlos. Then, our favorite gang tried to bring Mal's dad to her side for the big day. They succeeded, and we witnessed a beautiful wedding between the fan-favorite characters. But this wasn't the most talked-about event from the royal wedding. What fans still talk about is the very ending of the fourth film. Before we get into details, we wanted to ask you for your opinion on the conclusion of Mal and Ben's story. Do you think the royal wedding gave them a proper conclusion? Do you perhaps believe there should be another Descendants live-action film with a similar plot to the royal wedding in order for fans to see the actors recreating the scenes from the animated version? Let us know. And I thought that it was only a matter of time before you realized that yourself, Please. but Ben, that's me! The wedding special's ending. The very end of the fourth film indicated something really exciting. In the final scene, Mal, a character played by Dove Cameron, and King Ben, played by Mitchell Hope, run from the crowd and decide to spend their wedding night alone. So, this is what happily ever after feels like, Ben says to his wife. Mal replies, for us, yes, but somewhere another story could just be beginning. This sentence itself is an indication that there will be another Descendants film. What proves that it's just a matter of time until Disney decides to make another film is the scene with a set of white roses, some painted red, that appear at the very end of the royal wedding. What does this mean for the future of the franchise? Let's find out. It looks like we won't see the already familiar cast in the fifth installment of Descendants. The franchise include Boo Boo Stewart, Sophia Carson, the late Cameron Boyce, Anna Cathart, Sarah Jeffrey, China Ann McLean, Melanie Paxson, Jedediah Goodacre, Dan Payne, Bobby Moyen, Cheyenne Jackson, and other actors we wish to see in future projects, but it appears as if they are not ready to come back after the tragic loss of their co-star and good friend Cameron Boyce. Obviously, it'd be really, really hard on the cast to do a film without Cameron, Dove said on the Chicks in the Office podcast. I'm sure there's a part that would feel very healing and very much like we're coming home. It's very much a personal kind of experience, so I think I think it would be healing to come back to like a homecoming, but also I think it would be really hard and I don't know if we'd be up for it. The other cast members agree that coming back to the already familiar set where they filmed with Cameron would be extremely difficult. The final scene of the animated special is according to most fans about a future Descendants film with Alice in Wonderland. More precisely, it is a hint about a film with Alice in Wonderland's relative as a protagonist. Most fans agree that this is a wonderful idea that will serve as a fresh start for the Descendants family. Although Disney is yet to confirm the projects, rumors that the company will start filming the Descendants meets Alice in Wonderland movie in 2022 are circling on the internet with a lot of reports claiming that the project will be released sometime in 2023. Personally, as your best friend, I strongly believe that this spellbook 
It belongs in the museum along with my mirror. Filming without Cameron. One month after Cameron Boyce lost his life, Descendants 3, in which he starred as Corella DeVille's son Carlos, premiered on the Disney Channel. The actor lost his life at only 20 years old, and Disney decided to honor him with a two-minute tribute at the end of the film. The footage shows Boyce's years working with Disney, from a child to his involvement in Descendants. The animated special also honored Boyce with mentions, but according to most fans, Disney should have honored Boyce's character in a better way, as they claim several mentions in an animated film were not enough. Do you guys agree? Although nothing is confirmed, we believe we won't see the same cast in the fifth installment because, as the cast members explain, they couldn't imagine doing a live action without Cameron. We respect their decision and wish them successful acting careers. A live action film. Another reason Disney wouldn't make the fourth film a live action project was for Cameron's character to get included and honored. According to Dove Cameron, the Descendants universe is expansive enough for the story to continue. There are many Descendants that could be the focus of the story in the fifth installment. Our theory is that Disney also believes it's not fair to do another film without Cameron, so they'll continue the story with another character as a protagonist and a brand new cast. Do you guys have any actors? in mind that could be included in the fifth part? Let us know. Most fans don't like the idea of the franchise continuing with the already familiar cast members, but if that's the only way we're going to see continuation, we have to make peace and meet the new talented actors that will guide the future of Descendants. The at Disney Descendants 3 Instagram page posted a clip advertisement for the special with a suspicious caption. The caption reads, For Mal and Ben, marriage is the start of a new journey. The fact that Mal says another story's beginning proves that we'll soon meet Alice in Wonderland's descendant, Ali. There are some fans who believe that what we saw at the end of the clip when the camera shows white roses that have slowly been painted red is only a nod to Alice in Wonderland, nothing else. But if Disney wanted to only include a nod to Alice in Wonderland, they wouldn't have included the white roses painted red, which is really an indication for the next villain, the Queen of Hearts. If they were only paying a nod to Alice in Wonderland, they could have done it with tea, don't you agree? What most most fans want to see is the fifth installment being a live action film, not an animation. So far, Disney has stayed tight-lipped about the Alice hint, but as previously mentioned, we believe it's just a matter of time until we hear the news of the fifth Descendants installment. Interestingly enough, a September 2021 report from Deadline claims that Gary Marsh is no longer the president and chief creative officer of Disney branded television, but he intends to establish a production company that will have two more Descendants movies. What do you guys think of the Alice in Wonderland hint? What are your hopes for the fifth installment? And of course, do you think the next film should consist of the same cast members? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.